Installation of electrical floor boxes. An understanding of floor box installation options. Before installing an electrical system in your workplace, you need to know all your options. Electrical floor boxes are a practical choice for floor installations. However, a floor box installation needs to be designed and planned accordingly to get the best results. Stainless steel and plastic are the most common materials for the construction of electrical floor boxes. The requirements of different floors led to the creation of a diverse variety of floor boxes. This is why they are available in a variety of sizes and depths. Furthermore, they have a variety of finishes. Floor box installation finishes can include 1. Standard plastic 2. Steel 3. Brushed stainless steel 4. Chrome 5. Brass 6. Bronze Several factors influence the type of office floor box used. One of them is the width of the false floor gap. If there is a floorboard, the floor box must be placed in it. However, you can have a wide range of floor box finishes to choose from by elevating the floor. Certain circumstances can also permit the use of the above floor boxes. Let's get to know everything about floor boxes and the options you have. Where are electrical floor boxes installed? There are many places where electrical floor boxes can be used. These include 1. Airports 2. Houses 3. Schools 4. Offices 5. Hospitals 6. Public places. In essence, they can be installed anywhere where power, data, or services are required to be accessed from the floor. The type will depend on the foot traffic and exposure to the elements. What are the different types of floor boxes? The majority of electrical boxes on the market are very similar in terms of features, thickness and general functionality. Generally, galvanized or stainless steel is used to construct floor boxes. You might also find bronze or brass floor boxes. However, they are usually made to order or purchase from a bespoke manufacturer. Sometimes combinations of certain woods and brass floor boxes are used to give it attractive architectural features. Materials and accessories. Floor boxes have unique designs which allow the quick installation and removal. In terms of frame shape, they could be either round or rectangle. Metal, plastic, and porcelain plates are also available to be used with floor boxes. However, solid metal plates are preferred due to their durability and resistance to wear and tear in high traffic areas. It offers a tidy, stylish, and uniform look for offices and other false floor environments. Moreover, when not in use, it gives the option to seal floor boxes with metal lids containing spring-loaded covers. This stops them from becoming a trip hazard. In most boxes, there will also be a separate cutout on the cover deck. A matching carpet or floor sample is used to mask the floor box. Pieces of tile or wood are also used. The cutout then helps to blend the covers into the floor. Recommendations and installation. Our electrical team can provide recommendations for electrical equipment suitable for your needs. We also guarantee a safe and professional installation. The floor box can contain a variety of services, such as 1. Electrical sockets. 2. Data cabling. 3. Audio visual links. 4. Control cabling water and dustproof. For specialized areas, both waterproof and dustproof heavy-duty floor boxes are available. For protection from the external environment, their in-built boxes also have IP66 water and dust protection. Specialist areas such as shopping malls, airports, convention centers, etc., are also home to those high-specification floor boxes. These heavy-duty floor boxes are beneficial in those high-traffic areas. How to install a floor box? Of course, the best and safest way is to employ a professional to undertake these works. Our team can of course undertake a range of floor box installation requirements. However, they are also able to design the best layout for the floor box locations. These locations should suit your present requirements, and in addition, allow for future growth and relocations. However, below is an outline of what's required when we undertake a floor box installation. First step, select a location and make an opening. After you've decided on a spot for the floor box, you'll need to cut a hole in the floor. You can first cut the floor box into the floor tile if you have a false tile floor. To maintain the tile's structural integrity, keep the floor box close to the tile's center. If we cut too close to the edge, the tile's strength will be compromised. To balance the floor box in the tile, we can make further adjustments when putting the tiles into place to accommodate different desk layouts. If the floor is made up of concrete, it must be cut and chased out to fit the floor box. This will be a difficult task and require extra effort. Professional service provider. A qualified professional with the necessary equipment and training is required to cut into a floor properly. Thus, ensuring a correct and safe installation. Our skilled professionals know which tools to use and how to cut into your floor. 
For example, suppose you require floor boxes to be inserted into wood or tile floors. In that case, our professional will arrive with the required jigsaw, chasing equipment and any other items is required. In the case of concrete floors, a circular saw or concrete saw would be used. The floor boxes will be installed after the opening has been created. The cutouts then require the correct filling and making good. Second step, preparation and placement of floor box. Check the position of the ground cables before installing the floor box. When you've determined this, you should remove the correct knockouts from the floor box units. These are round entry points in the box where electrical and data cables join. When detached, they are often covered with rubber grommets in case a sharp edge is left behind. When you're done, put the floor box in the correct location on the floor to receive the electrical and data cabling connections. Third step, pressing the box into the floor. Once the floor box is correctly positioned, lower it and gently click on both ends of the floor box. Lock the latches and the box itself. Securing the latches on each side of the floor box ensures that it is simple to install and eject is required. Switch the screws to tighten the box and ensure it is securely in place until the floor box has been inserted into the floor. Fourth step, fitting the floor box lid and then trimming them. Many quick model floor boxes come with metallic, reusable lids. Metallic covers ensure that it remains in place throughout the installation or removal process. The lid could be fitted with matching carpet, tile, or wooden panels to match the flooring material. Removal of floor box installations. In the case of removal, the process will vary according to the model. However, for most models, you can follow the following steps. 1. If they are on your floor box model, detach the floor box lock handles. It ensures that the floor box is no longer locked. 2. Pull the lid to open an area. 3. Insert a flat blade screwdriver into the metal clips on either side of the box. Then, slide it out until the hook meets the molded stem. 4. At last, lift the box down using a lid handle. If the floor boxes are in concrete floors, removing them would necessitate major floor upheaval. Be sure to hire a trained specialist to assist you with your floor box removal needs. If you have any queries or are looking to undertake some floor box installation work in your offices, our professional team is here to help we offer free surveys, and therefore can discuss options at your location and provide the necessary budgets for your floor box installation requirements. For further assistance or a free survey please email or call on the details below, and click like and subscribe if you have enjoyed this video.